Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is Episode 9. Work your way through the menus and select New Game Second Run. Choose Claire Redfield and pick Assisted Difficulty. Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. So let's talk about Assisted Difficulty. Enemies move slower, they have less health, plus we get the added benefit of aim assist. Saving also does not require ink ribbon, so feel free to save as much as you like. A few things to keep in mind during this run. Number one, we cannot use the item box. Using the item box for any reason will void the minimalist trophy and you'll be forced to run the game again. Number two, we cannot use healing items. Using healing items for any reason will void the frugalist trophy. If you accidentally use the item box or a healing item, load the most recent save you have and try again. Typewriters are often very close to the item boxes, so be careful not to accidentally open the item box while trying to use the typewriter. Remember, our infinite weapons are in the item box, and since we can't use the item box, those weapons are off limits this time around. We are playing on assisted difficulty, so that shouldn't be a problem. Assisted difficulty also gives us the added benefit of automatic health recovery anytime we fall into danger status, meaning our lifeline falls into the red. This has limitations because our health will never recover past yellow status, which is caution. The only way to get our health to recover from caution to fine is to use a healing item, which again, we cannot do. So my advice is to save often, even more than I do in this guide if you feel it's necessary. If your lifeline falls into caution status, load the most recent save you have and try again. One more thing, there is no time limit. We've already picked up all the trophies related to speed runs, so take your time and enjoy the run. I'll still provide commentary for collectibles and other key events, but for the most part, I'll let the gameplay lead the way. This playthrough is a mixture of the previous two playthroughs, so nothing should catch you by surprise. It's also important that you use items when I do, since inventory management will be your biggest hurdle during this playthrough. Your ammo count will never perfectly match mine, but it should be fairly close. If it gets too far off, load your most recent save and try again.
Grab the ammo and the hip pouch on the reception desk. During this playthrough, we need to get all the hip pouches to unlock a trophy called A Waste of Space, and this is our first one. Collecting all the pouches will help us with inventory management since we can't use the item box. Open the safe using the following combination to get the second hit pouch. 9 left, 15 right, 7 left.
Grab the ammo upstairs and pick the lock on the locker. The code is DCM. Grab the bejeweled box and read the file hanging on the wall. Open both lockers and get the flame rounds. The second locker requires a combination and the solution is CAP. Shoot the Mr. Raccoon behind the boxes. Grab more supplies in the office, but more importantly, read Leon's memo on the cart. Thank you. 
Believe it or not, Mr. X is less predictable on assisted difficulty because he's less aggressive. As long as you have a hand grenade or flash grenade, when the time comes, you'll be fine. Grab the red book off the table and use the spade key to open the door. Open the safe using the following combination, 6 left, 2 right, 11 left. You can leave the item in the safe to save space. In the next room, you'll find the weapons locker key card and another file sitting on the chair. I skipped this file on purpose so I can make a tutorial later in the guide that shows how to find collectibles you missed along the way. You should not skip this file, so make sure to read the file sitting on the chair to the left of the weapons locker key card. Grab the statue's left arm and combine it with the red book we picked up earlier. Then place it on the statue to get the scepter.
Quickly examine the scepter to get the red jewel, then combine that with the bejeweled box to get the stars badge. Be aware that a liquor will drop in from the ceiling during this process, but it will not bother you as long as you're adjusting your inventory. Now examine the badge to get the USB dongle key. Quickly leave the room to avoid the liquor. Work your way back to the weapons locker to get the grenade launcher and extra flame rounds. Remember, Mr. X is still chasing us, so be careful.
won't move. You got it. So, what's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. She's making an important new medicine. Umbrella? The big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Grab the hip pouch out of the locker, save your progress, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.